Also, my head has been a pineapple throughout this video. Meep, meep, meep. Hi guys, it's Sin and today I'm going to be doing a video that was inspired by the lovely Lucy Moon. She made a video called All Girl Grammar Schools Are Weird, I think, possibly, and I loved it because I myself went to an all girls grammar school and I really related to what she was saying, so I wanted to make a video myself on my experience at an all girls grammar school. I also read an article literally today, let me see if I can find it on my phone. I sent it to my dad so I'm going to go on to his messages. Yeah, I read an article today on the tab if it loads. And it's called, It's Time We Stop Pretending Grammar Schools Aren't Backward and Elitist. And it was such a good article. It was by Megan Ward. I definitely, definitely think you guys should check it out. I'll leave a link down below. Today I'm going to tell you from my perspective how grammar school was for me. I went to an all girls grammar school, like I said, and it was an interesting experience. My family, we didn't really know about grammar school. I was quite bright at school and there were kind of things put in place for me and a few other kids who were bright to do different lessons and things. And one of those girls who I was actually friends with told me that she was applying to grammar school. So I looked it up and I really loved it. I loved the look of it. I loved how it was really focusing on learning and the love of learning. And it was just a place where everyone was passionate about learning. So young me, who was a complete nerd, was like, yep, I want to go to grammar school, I'm going to go. I took my 11 plus in the summer and I passed and I went to grammar school and I went to the one I wanted to go to. I actually picked my grammar school because it was a specialist art school. They did things in drama and performing arts that I loved at the time and I still love. So that's why I chose my grammar school. And when I got there, it did kind of meet up to my expectations. So it was quite strict. We had to wear kilts. We went to like special ceremonies where we were kind of initiated in a way. I don't know. It was a bit strange. And it was all quite posh and quite new and what I kind Kind of expected but what I didn't expect was how fun it was. I don't know if I was just in an anomaly year group and an anomaly form. We had like little form groups and in my form group we had so much fun in year seven. There was times when we were like throwing apples out the window at break time and we accidentally like hit one of the head teachers in the head. <laughs> So I really, really enjoyed year seven. We had such an amazing time. And then we all started to grow up. So I want you guys to keep in mind that we were all girls um, and girls when they grow up do kind of get a bit cliquey and a bit bitchy and that wasn't what I expected because I'd never known people to be horrible to me and to me I didn't think that doing things differently or doing things out of the box or creatively was bad. I was always encouraged to do that. A lot of you might not know this but back in year eight, I think it was like the end of year eight, I decided to start a YouTube channel. It did quite well. Um, it got around 500 to a thousand subscribers and views and I really really loved doing YouTube. Now somehow girls at my school found out and that is when it all went downhill. Downhill. Um, <laughs> oh I hate reliving this, I hate it. So I've put here lack of differences and static thinking in my notes. I think what I was trying to get at was that no one really accepted my YouTube. They all kind of hated it because it was different. They laughed at it which I should have expected because it's something weird and unusual but no one was really nice or encouraging about it. I was pretty much teased and bullied about it, which led me to delete my YouTube channel and be really unhappy at school. And I don't wanna go into detail about all the things that happened and how I was unhappy at school, but I do wanna say that the pastoral system and me going for help and trying to get help was shite. <laughs> like, it was actually terrible. I did have a very good best friend and a very stable relationship throughout school, but we're now not friends and we haven't stayed in contact and I actually haven't stayed in contact with anyone from my old grammar school. Um, everyone moved on and for me grammar school wasn't a family it wasn't a family environment it wasn't like these are all my sisters and my friends that I've grown up with which is really quite sad so I was quite unhappy at grammar school um, through from like year 9 to 11 the time I left and I didn't choose to stay on at sixth form and here are a few of the reasons why so alongside like the bullying I did get quite upset and depressed and mentally unwell and that's quite a lot when you have a lot of mental pressure from doing well in school and having the best grades and being on top especially at grammar school like it was always pushed for us to be the best and we were always told that we were special and we're very very lucky to be in the position that we were in for being at a grammar school and I definitely feel like grammar school put a divide between 
girls that were in grammar school and other girls and boys who were incomprehensive. So we actually had like a separate bus. A majority of us didn't travel on public transport. We had our own special green bus, which she took. That kind of separated us in a way from comprehensives. We were also always told like, you guys are special in whatever profession you do, no matter what, like you'll be at the top leading everyone. So everyone had this mindset that yeah, we're the best, which I don't really think is healthy to be telling young girls. On top of that, there wasn't really a focus on mental health. No one really questioned it. We had one kind of professional person who was there to help you but she was never there pretty much. She like you had to have a, an appointment booked with her so it's really rare that you were chosen in a way to go and see the special person who was there and I think that definitely impacted upon me because I was kind of pushed and brushed under the carpet. Teachers knew what was going on and I did have some lovely lovely teachers who I'm still in contact with today who were always there for me and were very supportive and knew that the school were kind of failing me in a way. Those teachers stuck by me and I think if it wasn't for them being in school I would not have got the amazing grades that I got. So I did leave grammar school with pretty sick grades like I'm actually proud of myself and I didn't expect to get good grades because of everything that was going on. It was sort of like I was dragging myself like my lifeless body through school and just trying to get it all done and get out of school which is a really sad thought especially when I talk to like my mum and my dad and they say that school was like the best time of their lives and I'm like really it wasn't mine apart from mentally going through hell and feeling like there was no one ever there for me school was okay I got good grades and I feel like that's such a sad thing to take away from school like I got my grades I'm thankful for that and I think the moral of grammar school for me was that no matter what situation you're in you should just make the best out of it I knew if I left that school halfway through I wasn't gonna do well and for me it was better to just damage my mental health and just drag myself through it and get those grades and be successful at the end of it than to just give up halfway and that's what I did and it might not have been the healthiest thing to do but now when I look back at least I've got those pieces of paper to say hey I made it and I didn't give up. And the fact that I went to quite a prestigious school, a school that ranks very highly and does quite well in the league tables is another thing which is like quite good but when I think about it who's really going to look at that when I go to get a job or when I make my own business or something I don't think that's that important. But when I really sum it all up is grammar school worth it? For me I got the grades so in a way it was but for my health probably not. And I just want to put a short disclaimer out there. I know a few of my friends at uni who went to grammar schools elsewhere in different cities and they loved it and it was an all-girls grammar school and they said it was amazing and a lovely time. Obviously it differs wherever you go but I really do think when I'm a parent and I go and choose a school for my child to go to I'll be wary when I go to grammar school to see if it's actually a front or if they do actually give a crap about your child's health and your child's welfare and they're not just forcing you to have good grades and telling you that you're the best, we're in this elitist society and everyone else is crap because that is not something I want my children to grow up hearing. I think that's it for the video, I've rambled on way too much. Like I said, I've got loads and loads of stories about school that I want to tell you guys and now I look back on them and I laugh, like I find them hilarious. That's all for me and I will catch you guys next week in a new video. Bye!